greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. So I go to the grocery store with my baby mama and I'm in there. We're at Walmart and I'm having a motherfucking good ass time because my baby mama was looking fine, fine, fine. She had on some of those TikTok leggings that make your booty scrunch up and she got a big old booty swell up like it was terrific, right? And so as I'm at Walmart having a good ass time, I had been sippy, sippy. And I'm just telling jokes and I'm laughing, I'm sweating, and I'm wiping. And you know, COVID and people is like, what is this nigga on? But I'm excited to live life. Nigga been cooped up and all this bullshit has been happening and I just want to just feel free. And so my baby mama said, God damn, I can't take Project Daddy nowhere. He just don't know how to behave. And when she said this shit to me, I just had to motherfucking take an evaluation of myself and look in the mirror and say, what the fuck does it mean to be free? What is freedom if I can't walk inside a goddamn cheap ass fucking Walmart that don't pay their employees no fucking money? And grab on a beautiful woman's booty. I'm just saying, what the fuck can I do in the name of freedom? And when I was standing there and I was having this conversation, looking at these Walmart employees, my heart went out to them immediately. Because I knew at that moment, looking at all these hardworking employees, I know they don't have a union. I know they don't have any hope or any aspiration for some type of economic relief to come and save their lives. But somehow, some way, we talk shit on these wonderful ass folk. And instead of us telling them to motherfucking be free, to say fuck Walmart, to have a good ass time and enjoy your life, we'll say, God damn, put your head down, work as hard as you possibly can, keep shoving them boxes, and God damn, just be quiet and, and you'll get the American dream. The illusion of the American dream is fucking dead. It's dead. When the greatest American alive can't motherfucking dance in Walmart and be youthfully exuberant, even though he got gray hair, and you can't motherfucking enjoy life and be a bad motherfucker than hell, man. What's the point of this shit? What's the point of this shit? And when I ask you what the point of this shit is, I'm saying you're working every day. And does anyone say you deserve a reward? Does anyone tell you, congratulations on being the greatest American alive, job well done, kudos, nigga, we could be in kindergarten, give a motherfucker a sticker or a stamp, please. Just acknowledge my effort. And I want to know why powerful people in America won't acknowledge your goddamn effort. Listen, all the powerful professions in America, they all utilize a union. LeBron James, Tom Brady, NFL, NBA, NHL, MLB, all the sporting agencies, they all use a union to negotiate their contracts. And so if you ever think that these niggas make $30 million solely on their talent, fuck no. They got lawyers that go into a room and negotiate that contract on their behalf. And it's for four years, five years, however term the agreement is for them to make sure they protect their employment. When it goes to police officers, when it goes to fire firefighters, all these folks have a wonderful union to make sure they maintain that beautiful salary they get every year. And when I see these wonderful people in my society, these are all working class folk. Why don't none of these folk go and take a Walmart employee and tell them, hey, listen here, here's the number to my union leader. Here's the, here's the, here's the number to my shop steward. Hey, you need to talk to my business agent. Y'all need some representation over there for one of the biggest corporations on the planet. But you won't fight for the American person. I'm like, God damn, where, where are all the patriots at? Where are all the patriotic people? Every person who's on television for CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, all those motherfucking talking heads have a contract. But when they on that goddamn screen, they shut the fuck up because they won't tell the truth for you. You can't negotiate your freedom. You can't have no power. You're supposed to go to Walmart, clock in, get your food stamps, and shut the fuck up while your kids is on Medicaid and you trying to figure out how the fuck you going to buy a house and own something in America when they tell you that the American dream is real. But you know, as the greatest American alive, as the greatest American alive, the illusion of the American dream is fucking dead because you haven't gotten your part. Because you go to work every day and won't nobody say thank you for your motherfucking service. They will call you an essential worker and continue to pay you below essential wages. Perpetual poverty is real in America. And it's fucking hurting American people. And Project Day don't want to stand for that shit. It's fuckery, you hear me? And the only person who can even say some shit like that is a piece of shit Project Daddy in the motherfucking building. Hands up, hands up to the goddamn ceiling. The greatest American alive. You, 
are the greatest American alive, not me. I'm a piece of shit out here watching people treat wonderful folk like pieces of shit. And y'all are taking it. You only get what you ask for. Life is all about negotiations. And if you don't want nothing more better, then fuck, man. But I think that at the end of every day, someone should tell you you're worth it. Someone should give you the encouragement. They tell you to fucking read a book, goddamn it. Read a book, goddamn. Fucking invest in this, invest in that. But won't no person tell you to form a union and to protect your labor because your labor is your person. This is the most valuable asset that you have. There would be no market as long as you, if you didn't go to work. America and the whole world is about to fall apart. You hear me? The stock market is just a place where they make bets on your labor. <laughs> is this motherfucker going to work today? How hard is this nigga going to work for the next quarter? And they make projections and wagers based on how hard you going to work. Goddamn American citizen. Why the fuck won't you tell these son of a bitches to take their hands out your pocket, sit at the fucking table, and let's negotiate on how to go forward. And I ain't asking for no fucking $15 an hour. I want collective bargaining. I want you to open up your books, and I want you to show me what my effort does every eight, every 10 hour shift. I want to know what I produce and I want to know how it impacts the company so that I can have fair information to negotiate going further. Let's talk some shit. Let's get some goddamn freedom. You deserve it. You are the greatest American alive. When you see any public person, ask them these difficult questions. If you see a police officer on the street, ask that nigga what union he belongs to. If you see a firefighter, ask that nigga what union he belongs to. And if he has any literature, on how you can bring that union to your workplace. You got to fight for freedom, you understand? Because freedom ain't free if poor folk don't do what they need to do to fight back against the oppressive, this oppressive system. There's a war on the poor, and y'all niggas ain't jabbing back. Now it's time to fight back. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.